This video is sponsored by the brand that provided the product. When you first get your Luma Electric Kitchen Composter, you'll receive a carbon filter cartridge. It's inside the unit. Open up the side panel, take it out, remove the tape, and put it back in. This eliminates any smell. I have my Luma Electric Kitchen Composter sitting on my kitchen counter to show you how easy it is to use. Today, we're composting a mixture of onion, parsley, shrimp tails, lobster tail, lemon, cucumbers, pieces of cardboard, and coffee. I'm adding my used coffee cartridges from my Keurig. Next, I'm tossing in the cardboard, ripped into small pieces, and then I'm going to toss in the jar of items. I add a little more cardboard to the top, making sure it does not go over the fill line, and I also add some parsley, again, not going over the fill line. We're gonna put the bucket in, and once you get it in, twist it to the left and right to make sure that it's actually in and locked in there. This is the see-through lid. You put it on like this, and then we're gonna lock it. And you can see up here what I'm doing. Now I've plugged it in, it's locked. All I'm going to do is touch on and it's gonna begin. That's it. The Luma Electric Kitchen Composter is truly remarkable. It reduces food waste volume up to 90% and it transforms it into this nutrient-rich plant food that I can use out in my gardens. This process used to take three to six months, but Luma has made it possible that it's in three to six hours, just depending on what you put inside of there. And to watch it all happen is incredible. You can see the powerful blades working to dry and break down everything inside. It'll go through its cycles, and I watched all of it. It was pretty darn amazing. It's incredibly efficient using just one kilowatt of energy per cycle. Look at this transformation. What started as a bucket of waste is reduced to less than a cup of rich compost. Basically, it's been reduced by 90%. This is incredible and incredibly useful because I can use it in my garden.